It is Mailbag Monday, guys, and I'm going into the mailbag to answer your questions. This time, we are talking about Colson. That's my quarterback, dude. We got more rumors about the Halloween characters and data mines. Are these for real? And of course, we have a giveaway winner to announce. Did you win? All this and so much more coming up in this week's mailbag, guys. So if you are ready for it, let's go smash it. Alley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. Yes, it is Mailbag Monday. I'm going to the mailbag to answer your questions about Marvel Strike Force, about possibly some other topics that we'll get into. And we are going to have some fun. We're talking about Colson. We got to talk about some data mines. And of course, we are drawing the winner of the latest giveaway. So good luck. We're going to draw that at the end. Hopefully, you checked out the last video and left your comment there with the correct hashtag before we get into your questions though valley merch it is on sale right now check out the link down below there's also blue stacks link down there if you want to play on your computer it is free for you and it supports the channel it is my emulator of choice 60 frames per second looks beautiful guys plus there is patreon as well if you want to support the channel that way let's get to your questions though guys all right first question here hey valley my favorite marvel character is cyclops when do you think they are going to release him uh not sure your guess is as good as mine my guess though is that it would be released the next update uh just whenever that is i think cyclops may be one of the characters there or at least i'm hoping that he will be one of the characters released there next question though is there a training module shortage? I ran out of them leveling Invisible Woman. How is that even possible? Uh, is there a new level cap to monetize it? So I, I this happened to me a few months ago. I was leveling a lot of characters, building them up, getting up at level 70, and I ran out of training modules. I didn't think it was possible, but it happened. So basically what I did was kind of shifted and did a little bit of leveling, a little bit of gears, uh, working on some other things. So don't just focus on leveling characters and you won't run out of that. Uh, I've kind of sort of built up my training modules since then but yeah it has happened to me and uh, the easy solution just focus on gear focus on a few other things uh, for now to build up your training module supplies next question who is the best replacement for fantastic four for namor in war uh you probably don't want to replace him in war he is the god in the war mode so don't replace him there now if you don't have him that is a different question, and you could probably use another tank, maybe a Captain America, maybe a Drax, or you could go with full healing, so someone like a Shuri, but, uh, you know, you also got a Merc Riot Guard, so try not to replace him, but if you do, I would, I would uh, beef up their tankiness with some kind of tank, and as far as the raids, uh, Shuri, Shuri is the pick that a lot of people are saying from there, have not tested them out. I don't have them at a high enough level to test them out firsthand, but it does make sense when you theory craft it. Uh, Shuri looks to be the pick for the Fantastic Four in the raids. Uh, any info on the Colson milestone drop? Now, I don't have any info on this, but there was the info that was released in the dev blog. Let's go take a look at that. So this is the dev blog we got on Friday, 927. And it talks about Colson being released. We go down to the milestones and I'm gonna read this right here. We're changing up the recurring milestones by adding a new character, more rewards and improving the scoring system. Improving is, uh, it can be debated on that. First up, you could recruit Agent Colson via milestones. We've added this character shorts to the mix. I think this is a uh, future written because I don't think uh, as of me reading this, he is actually in any milestones right now. Next up, we've increased the number of orbs gear gold and character shards available be sure to log in every day to reap the benefits also some talking about some changes to the world warrior milestones where uh war participation is going to be included in this and they're going to change up the uh scoring for arena and blitz so it looks like some changes now as far as the milestones uh he's being released as a milestone character and what information do i have just what you guys see here my guess is it's just going to be very similar to a Mysterio or a Captain Marvel. Hopefully, they will go full shards for the character and not just orbs for this character uh, like they're doing with the current Captain Marvel mouse system uh, that is going on right now. Next question. How do we get the Valley Flying Gains? That's going to come down to the training, the prayers, and the vitamins, dude. Next question. 
Uh, do you think Dr. Doom will be in the game currently? They implement some sort of event or new version of Fear of the Darkness. Where is level 75 gear 15 only? Is that the future? So, uh, Dr. Doom, yeah, he's kind of in the game in these uh, raids as kind of a narrator for it. Uh, hopefully he will be in the game soon. The word, the rumor is that he will be a fifth for Fantastic Four to make them viable in Arena. Uh, it is just a rumor at this point though, so uh, there's the rumor of that. And uh, it does seem like the response uh, from the devs in the community and the community were very good for the Fear of the Darkness and Enter the Darkness. And I know they want to do more things like that. The only, only restriction though is that once they build this game mode, it's done. People don't really go back uh, go back and play this game mode. So uh, there is that kind of hurdle right there. Uh, maybe they will introduce them during Fear the Darkness though, but um, yeah, we, we'll have to see. I honestly have no idea about this, but I know that these Fear the Darkness to Enter the Darkness are something that they the devs were very pleased with and they want to see if they can implement these kind of uh, modes more in the future. Uh, next question, X-Men and Alliance War on offense or defense and why? You definitely want to use them on offense. They beat pretty much every team unless the power gap is so crazy. Uh, and on defense, yeah, there'll be trouble on defense, but I think uh, you want to use them on offense, especially with Coulson uh, Shield coming to uh, the war meta very soon. All uh, right, next question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladed swallow? Monty Python, hey? Uh, I'm not super familiar with all these Monty Python jokes, so let me go answer this straight. All right, so here is an article about estimating the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow. I know that's not what you're looking for, but the straight answer for this is 11 meters per second or 24 miles an hour. So that, that is the airspeed, brother. <laughs> Our next question, with all the promotion you're doing for Clan HQ, are you using it for the game? I am using it more to communicate with the community though. Uh, my alliance doesn't use it yet, but I think once Foxnex adds an API or some kind of method to export our rosters. I think uh, everybody will be using Clan HQ at that point. Next question, what are your thoughts on the Invisible Woman? Very good character, obviously a must if you are running a Fantastic Four team. She adds a lot to that team. Outside of that team, I think she does add some value uh, for other teams as well, but uh, not as much as that Fantastic Four team. Very good uh, in giving a team sustainability. So if you're not running her in Fantastic Four, you could use her to make a, another team more sustainable, but uh, definitely, definitely one of the better characters if you're running her in a uh, pure Fantastic Four team. Next question, do you think Hela will be a villain mystic controller? I think there's a very good chance of that. And according to the data mine, it looks like she is a summoner. It looks like she can summon Greg. So if you look at some of the other summoners that are in the game, there's three of them that are in the Mystic Controller class. We got Loki, Ronan, and yeah, our boy Nobu. So you got three in that class already, possibly making her a Villain Mystic Controller. Also, I'm thinking Villain Mystic uh, Blaster. So maybe being a summoner kind of along that Ultron uh, vein of thought. So we will have to see, we will have to see. And again, with this one, your guess is as good as mine. Next question, are they gonna release the Nexus campaign? It shows up as having orange mats. Uh, from what I hear, this is not anything that uh, you guys should be holding your breath on right now. Uh, I would be very happy if it came to the game, Fox next, but uh, it's not anything that I think uh, is happening very, very soon that uh, we should be expecting. And then uh, follow-up question for this, why does the game keep telling us to unlock the chapters that don't exist? I think this is just uh, something that they wanted to exist and the text that they kept in the game is still reflective of that. But. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming anytime soon, honestly, guys, from the rumors that I'm hearing. Uh, next question. Do you think level 75 with the power adjustments, especially with the improvements to focus and resistance, will make the Wakanda the supreme raid team? My guess is no. Do I think they're a fun team? Yeah, they're a very fun team to play with. Are they a good raid team? Yeah, they're, and they're going to get better with the level cap. But there's some issues with their kits. Now, if they've made some changes, some slight changes to Shuri's kit, some slight changes to M'Baku's kit, some slight changes to Okoye's kit, I would say it's very, very possible that they could be the premier raid team at that point. But as of their current kits and the way the game, everything is right now, I would say no. But I think they're gonna be a very good raid team and a very fun team, just not the, uh, the supreme raid team. 
The next question, do you think, uh, do you believe players should consider the legendary event cadence when choosing which legendaries to go for? Why or why not? Have all the legendaries just wanted to mention something to the lore players? So this is something that I haven't really focused on. When I'm building characters, I'm building them for the characters that I think I need the most, that's gonna benefit me the most. There is one exception, this is a pretty big exception. If I know that there is a legendary character event coming up and I'm very close to farming these characters to get the legendary character to that next star level, yeah, I will start working on that. I'm gonna shift my focus because it's a time-based event and uh, we don't know when any of these events are coming back. So if I know there's an event coming up, I will shift my focus for a little bit just to kind of uh, maximize the legendaries I have. But if, it, if but I'm not even close, I'm not gonna shift my focus at all. I'm gonna keep right with what I'm doing. Uh, but that, that is that is primarily what I do. I, I stay focused unless I know something's coming up that I do have the potential to reach. And that is what I re recommend for most players as well. Unless you're just like a huge whale, you go for everything. Uh, next question, kind of a follow-up. If you have all legendaries, what team would you work on and what power would you take them up to? So, uh, when I'm looking at what to build up, there's two modes that are really, really important for me, and that kind of determines how I build up for other modes, raids and arena. If I am completing my raid content very well, then I focus on other teams. Same thing with arena. So as far as legendaries, I think the legendary that's gonna help you most in the raids is gonna be Star-Lord with his energy distribution. You put him on a BKT team, they are gonna smoke that ultimate six, and hopefully once they get powered up enough, they will smoke that uh, ultimate seven as well. Uh, the Greek raids are a little different though because of the uh, restrictions. So I think Star-Lord, I think that is the character that I'd work on the most. Now for Arena, uh, you got a bunch of different ones that work in Arena. You have Phoenix with Ultron and Fury. You have Phoenix with Ultron and Magneto. You have a bunch of different combinations. I think the common denominator there though is that Ultron and Phoenix. So Ultron, not a legendary character, but definitely work, I would definitely work on him. And as far as Phoenix goes, that is the character that I would work on because I think she's gonna help the most in Arena. So those are the two guys, Star-Lord and Phoenix for that question. Next question though. Where are the qu killer twins? Little Dab and Little G haven't seen them in a while. I normally bring them on to open orbs for me. They're, they have so much more luck than I have in opening these orbs and I haven't really opened a lot of orbs in a while. So uh, maybe they will appear in some other non-opening orb opening videos, but uh, yeah, as of right now, just opening orbs. So uh, that may or may not change in the future. We will see guys. All right, do you think the Invisible Woman Mystic Gear glitch was done on purpose. Tinfoil hats here, guys, uh, by having some strong Invisible Woman. Consumer will be more likely to spend on other Fantastic Four or use up Mystic Gear right now before releasing Hella. So uh, I think this was an honest glitch. I think someone didn't cross their I's or dot their T's or didn't do uh, everything that needed to be done before passing us on to another department. I don't know. That's just kind of the feeling I get with a lot of their mistakes. They're not done maliciously. They're just uh, generally done, genuinely done in with error. Uh, so I think this is another instance of that. I do like the way that this was handled though. There's so many different ways they could have responded, uh, refunding all the gear and making everybody do it again. Uh, I like what the, I like the path that they chose for this glitch. So just letting it go, letting people know that you know what this is a mistake. This mistake is ending on this date at this time. But until then, everybody is welcome to use this glitch. And I think they handled it right. I think that's the best way they could have handled this uh, once it came out. Next question: On your recent trip to Fox Next headquarters, did any of you three ask why in the heck? Fox Next went back in their word, not requiring the characters unlocking legendary characters, making us unlock Nobu, Hand Assassin, etc. Especially in the uh, ignored request for answers on Reddit. Uh, so yes, this was brought up a lot around the time that Phoenix came out. Uh, they went back on it, and I don't think we ever really got an official response, a really good response that a lot of us were satisfied with. Uh, but since that has happened, and we still haven't gotten a response on that, uh, the Invisible Woman requirements were announced, and Sinister Six are not that bad of a faction. So I think the response to it is right. Uh, we still can't get any uh, definitive answers on 
that. So I don't expect anything's gonna change as far as the Phoenix requirements, uh, them going back on that, but I do expect it for these future legendaries, and I hope I am right there. I really hope I am, uh, because it would be bad if they uh, kept doing this kind of stuff but i don't think i don't think they will i think uh, they've learned from that they learned from the backlash on that i don't think they could go back and change anything at this point but i don't think they're going to do it in the future or at least i hope they don't next question value fine do you miss your time as the dirty chummer sometimes guys sometimes i do Fun times back then. All right, Valley Flying. How would BKT go in Fear the Darkness if you were a free to play player? What team would you farm up for Fear? So I pretty much used a BKT when I did Fear the Darkness with the one exception. I replaced Thanos with Nick Fury. That is a team I recommend to everybody, not because it's the best team out there, it's the easiest team to farm, uh, but because it's the one that I use and I know that I dominated a lot of those nodes there were a few that I had trouble with, but a lot of them were pretty easy with that team. So uh, if you're not sure who BKT is or BKE, however you want to say it, Star-Lord, Rocket, there was Fury in the middle, and then on the sides there was Minerva and then Groot. And that's the way I placed it. Actually, there's a slightly different placement uh, for Fear of Darkness. I placed Minerva next to Star-Lord, Rocket was on the other side, but that is the team that I used. And uh, I would go a, a variation on BKT if I were going Fear of Darkness. Uh, Valley Fine, were you a part of the Blitz cooldown Glitz, Red Star Blitz, uh, going back to gonna be insane this week? Yeah, I know they are. I don't know if I was affected by the glitch because by the time I did it, I just did one run and I went to sleep. So I didn't pay attention to what the cooldowns actually were, but I know the scores are crazy high. I think it was like 2 million after one run. And I was like, man, this is, uh, everybody's scores are gonna be going crazy. So uh, I have no idea what to shoot for in this blitz, guys. So I, I, I probably will just do the milestone just because I don't really have a uh, set target. I don't know what's going on with this one, guys. Do you think there'll be compensation for the blitz snafu? I don't think there will. I think everybody was affected uh, equally. So everybody's scores are just shot up uh, I, don't, I don't think it deserves any uh, compensation because it's a PvP mode and everybody kind of was affected equally by this uh, next question I've been building up my defenders put all my materials into them I don't have a good villains team I want to progress in that campaign any advice so this was a little interesting one for me because I it was way back in the day that I did this villain campaign, probably over a year ago. So I'm trying to do this off of memory. And from what I think I did, I think I just used the free characters that we got at the time. So as a new player, I think you get an Electra, you get a Crossbones, you get a Hand Sorceress. There's some other characters, maybe a Ravager, Bruiser, I think uh, was back in the day. And for though that is who I pretty much just used for the villains campaign. Now, as I progressed in the game, I would get these orbs, I would start to unlock other characters, I would play the raids and I would get gear for these raids and I'll start to gear up these other characters. That's when I started to build up my other villains in the background. I didn't really focus on building a team to build to beat certain campaign nodes until I actually needed it. Until I actually need to farm a certain node, I wouldn't really focus on that. So unless there's a character that you need in that villain campaign that you need to farm, maybe Mystique further down the road, maybe a Nobu further down the road, uh, at, it's at that point that I would start to build up my villains and really work on uh, who you think is the best that you have a shot of uh, beating that with that time. Uh, for me, I just like to kind of overpower it. I don't know uh, if these campaigns are worth building a specific, specific team. Jeez, I can't talk. All right, if it's worth building a specific team just to beat these campaign nodes. But uh, yeah, that that is uh, who I would do. I just, I would just focus on who you have and focus on the nodes you have. Stay laser focused. And uh, in the background, if you want to start to build some of these villain characters, then you can. But I wouldn't make that my priority. My priority was be building the team that I'm currently working on. All right, next question. What is the best setup for gamma rates for the boss notes, each in particular. So there's two main boss notes that I run across. The first team I use on that is X-Men because X-Men beats everything. Uh, I try to use Brotherhood and other teams up until that point, maybe Charging Phoenix, but uh, Charging Storm, not Phoenix. Uh, and then when I get to that node, it's, it's pretty much easy node. The last node, the final, final boss node, uh, you could use tech characters. For that, I would use a modified BKT. So Star-Lord, Rocket, Ultron, 
Minerva and Vision seems to work very well. And those are the two teams I use uh, for the mini boss or the last mini boss and then the final boss. And those teams have worked very well. If you have them on the right cooldown, you need to have uh, Ultron on the right cooldown or he's gonna screw your team up. All right, next question, Valley Flying. Have you made it to level 71 yet? Who is the first character you will have or have taken up already to that level? So first characters I'm gonna uh, work on uh, up to level 71 once I get to that level. And I'm actually more excited about those save squads than uh, upping their levels, guys. But I'm gonna work on my arena team. So that is Phoenix, Ultron, Vision, Magneto, and Juggernaut. That, that is who the first five characters that I'm taking up to level 71 once I hit there. But yeah, it's for me, level 71 is all about the save squads, guys. All right, next question is about the save squads. How coincidental. All right, can we expect more save squads and how many will we get? You will get more save squads, five more once you reach level 71. So that, that is a big milestone in uh, all these new levels. Next question, is there a new faction you wanna see added to the game? With minions, that is uh, definitely not a new faction with the minions. I hope they add no more minions at all, just considering all the abundance of Marvel characters that are already out there. I don't think we need uh, any more filler characters. I think we just go, just go straight for main characters. The faction I want to see added. I think I get this ad asked a lot and uh, it changes a lot. And right now, I've said this faction in the past, I'm coming back to it. I want Black Order in the game. I want Thanos to have his own faction. Get, get us all the rest of the Black Order. I think they're really cool. Proxima Midnight, Corvus Glaive, all the rest of them. I would like to see them added to the game. Uh, next question. Is the Guardian pre-Star Lord better than Defenders of the similar power level? I'm wondering, should I replace Defenders with the pre-Star Lord Guardians for Arena? I would say no. I don't know if a non-Star Lord Guardians can beat the Defenders. Uh, one big thing you're getting from the Star Lord version is that early turn burst from Rocket and then from Star Lord. Either, either the early turn burst from Star Lord or blinds from Star Lord. Both of them are very important in going up a def against the Defenders team. You don't get that if you replace him with Gamora. So uh, I would say you need to have Star Lord on that Guardians team in order to beat Defenders. So at this point, I would say keep the Defenders, but. You know, with Arena, it never hurts to experiment. I experiment all the time in Arena. Sometimes stuff works, sometimes stuff doesn't. So I would experiment with it. I don't expect you will do better, but it never hurts to try. So I'll, I'll definitely try it out, see how you do. All right, and last question. Thoughts on Ghost Rider rumor for Halloween? So for this one, I actually wanna go to the data mines and look at some data mine info that we have. All right, so we are on Casino Server and he has a bunch of data mines here. And the first one is this. Let me make this a little larger. And of course, this is data mine stuff, so not anything uh, confirmed yet. But as far as rumors, nothing in a data mine as far as Ghost Rider, but there is one right here. Elsa Bloodstone. She's a big character in uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3, or maybe not a big character, but she is a character in there. She's a very fun character to play with in Marvel Future Fights, so I'm happy if Elsa Bloodstone comes to the game. I realize a lot of people might not know who she is, but uh, I've known her through some other games and I've had fun playing with her. Coulson is also in there as well. Another one, Strife. So uh, Ghost Rider not mentioned in Data Mine at all, but Strife is mentioned. Uh, Elsa Bloodstone is mentioned, and there were rumors about uh, Ghost Rider as one of these other characters uh, that have been floating around for a while. I don't know if there's any truth to these rumors, but uh, the Ghost Rider rumors definitely out there. All right, so as far as uh, what rumors are out there, let me just kind of recap. So this is uh, written by someone watching Casino Server. So this may or may not be accurate, but it's a good summary. So I thought I'd read it. So Rex, thank you for writing this. Uh, we already know Cyclops Beast Hella, as uh, as you guys can see in the splash screen of the game and uh, was talked about many times in the past. We don't know a date for any of these characters though. So they may be coming in the next update. They may be coming months from now, but they definitely look like they are coming at some point. The Halloween update, three tunes rumored to have been confirmed by Fox next to the content creators there under and the NDA can't talk about it. So uh, we haven't, we, they haven't announced any characters to us. We did see a few things that we can't talk about, but nothing was officially announced by 
the devs on a trip there. Also, Bloodstone, that was one character that I did not see at the trip there, but uh, has been since Data Mind. And there's a few other characters in there that uh, we didn't see, but I have no idea if they're coming in this update or just uh, something that was thought about. Another character that we just mentioned, Strife, was just Data Mind, and he talked about two new possible as guardians uh two new possible releases for as guardian store loki hella heimdall and this is a name that is rumored to be out there doesn't mean that it is coming or uh, confirmed but and there's another name as well for the fifth as guardian so let me know who you think there are there's a few clues in here in his server and that is about it for rumors so yes it is it for the data mines and the question but we still need to pick a winner for the giveaway, so let's do that. Here we have the title of the, or the URL of the video. We have the hashtag, one chip challenge, all one word. Let's get the comments. And how many random comments or commenters do we have? We have 264 random unique commenters and we will pick a winner. So good luck guys, the winner is, and if you win, you get to pick what you want, a Google Play or iTunes. It's a $30 card sponsored by Clan HQ. Winner is B P. W-I-L-K, BP Wilk, I think. Love the videos. Can't wait for the next one, one chip challenge. So congratulations, BP Wilk. Uh, reach out to me on the comments here in the, the uh, description, or reach out to me in the comments of this video so I can confirm it to you, then we'll get in touch with each other in social media. That is it for the video this time. Congratulations again, BP Wilk. Uh, you are the winner of a $30 card. Stay tuned, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you guys could win some of these future contests that we are gonna do. Like and share this video, it helps out the channel, guys. And uh, check out some of the links down below. Thank you to Clan HQ for sponsoring this giveaway. I will see you guys next time. Hulk this bump, belly flying, out.